What the fuck? Hey guys, what's up? It's the Minecraft Sauce here today doing a video on how to make a good outro for your YouTube videos and Minecraft videos. So basically I'm going to be recreating something like this. Um, I got a w video over here on top of an orthographic 3D Minecraft block which I'll have a link to in the description below. I was going to make a tutorial or put a tutorial section on how to make that but I'm just going to give you guys the image file. Um, and then we've got like more text here and then uh, my face over a white background so we're gonna kind of do that along with transitions in something called Adobe After Effects I will provide a link in the description below um, for the trial you don't have to buy it so let's get started go up into composition click new and then make sure the width is 1920 by 1080 and the frame rate is 30 YouTube only accepts 30 frames per second, so don't use any more than 30 unless you plan to do slow motion, which will not be apparent in this tutorial. So now we're going to click OK, and we're going to right click over in this blank space, New, and then Solid. We're going to change the solid to a white color, OK, and then click OK. And now we're going to start putting our image files into the composition. So, yeah. <laughs> Google image images I've searched up wool background Minecraft and this pops up and this will be perfect for what it, I need it to do so I'm gonna right click it save image as and save it to I guess my pictures cryptic art and then save so we're gonna be using this for kind of one of the panels of which our orthographic grass will lie on like as you can see there's wool behind there uh, so I'm going to go into Adobe After Effects and then find that file that I saved, Cryptic Art, drag it in there as well. So I guess we can start putting some stuff in. So I'm going to drag that wool into here, into the composition. Make sure it's on the top layer so that we can actually see it. Um, and then we can resize this. So we want it to be scaled properly instead of widened, which will kind of affect the image quality. So we want to be, when we resize this, we want to hold shift the whole time. So this will bas basically resize it evenly. And then I'm going to bring it down here and do that again. And there we go. I've got one part of the kind of panel, which is the bottom panel. All right, now I'm going to click it on the layer side of things. And we're going to go Control C and then Control V that should create another one so we're gonna take that and bring it over here just drag it oh whoops I dragged the background I'm just gonna control undo and I did it again sometimes this will happen basically it accidentally you accidentally click the solid or something and then um, yeah it it locks you to the layer just click the layer that you were editing again and then just move it like that okay there we go so now I've got kind of a panel going on here uh, what if you don't like the solid layer color right uh, mine isn't as white as I want it to so uh, or as I want it to be so I'm just gonna go control shift Y and then uh, change the color again so that's a good white color it's not too white but it's white so now we're gonna bring this uh, oh I did not import my grass once Okay, I found my grass, it was on my desktop. Okay, I'm going to drag that in here, and then we're going to drag it into the project file, make sure it's on the top layer, and we can play around with it and resize it. So I'm going to scroll out a bit, click this, and then hold shift, and make it the appropriate size. So that looks about good. Um, I'm going to place it like right here. You could place as many of these squares as you want to, I guess. Um, I'm gonna size it down some more. Let's let's refer back to uh, this right here. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm gonna put it more to the bottom, like that. Maybe we could put. Nah, I think two is fine. Okay, so now we're gonna click this layer, block ortho image, and we're gonna copy it and uh, drag the duplicate up while holding shift so that they're both aligned and uh, that's where where we will end up putting our preview videos so now let's get working on the text 
If you go Control T, I believe it is. Nope, that's not it. Uh, whatever that did, I don't know what it did. I don't think it did anything. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna need to right click in this blank empty space, new, and text. And uh, now we got some text. So I'm going to write something. What did I write over here? Let's see. I actually had two text layers, so the Minecraft sauce and my actual name in Minecraft. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Click over here. The Minecraft sauce. I actually used a special font, uh, which I'll also have a download to. It's the Minecrafter 2.0. If you don't know how to download fonts, you can just search up a tutorial on how to do that. Okay, so I changed the font. Uh, I might want to change the size, so just turn this up to maybe like 70, I guess. Uh, and we want the color to be different, do we? No, we don't. We actually want just an outline. And I have an orange outline here, so you can make this outline any color you want. So um, there's a white, and then there's kind of a weird outline white that's crossed out. We're going to click this, and we're going to change the color of it. Uh, so I'm going to make it an orange color like that. That should be a good color. And we've got a very fine outline now on our text, but it's not big enough. Uh, I'm going to make the white actually a bit whiter for our text as well at the same time. Okay, and now we're going to go down here. It says one pix, and then we got stroke overfill. This is our outline property. So I'm going to change this outline uh, to be kind of bigger if I can. Oh, I didn't have the text highlighted. Make sure you have the text highlighted or it won't work usually. Okay, I think that is nearly as good as I wanted it to. Actually, I wanted it to be fairly bulky, but as you can see, we've got the stroke overfill, so if we change that up to fill over stroke, we can see we've got a better looking outline, or we can we can just play around with these settings. So uh, I think that's good. So now I can create a shadow layer, which is what I had also. So I've got the outline, and then I've got a darker kind of version of the um, orange as a shadow layer. So down below that, I believe we have shadow stuff. I'm just going to double check. Okay, so to add a shadow to your text, you need to search up shadow in effects and presets, which is right next to character on your side menu. So we're going to go there and search up shadow, and right at the bottom, under perspective, drop shadow. We're going to drag it over our text like that, and we have a bunch of settings that pop up. So you may be in your project tab and wondering where these settings are. Just up here, there's an effects controls tab that you click, and we can change the uh, shadow color. So I'm going to use this uh, kind of tool that selects the same color as an, our outline, and then I'm going to make that a darker orange of the same color. So uh, I think that's good. Now we can just make our opacity uh, 100% and we're gonna change I don't know some distance maybe? Yep the distance would uh, work as well and uh, there we go we've got that. Another thing you can do is uh, there is under color correction shadow highlight we drag that over the text and you notice we've got some depth to it I really like this effect I'm not gonna play around with it I'm just gonna leave it at that and so now we've got our very first text layer it's pretty cool looking so uh, I'm gonna duplicate this and type epic sauce I duplicated it in a different layer so I duplicated the layer and then I just kind of dragged it and edited the text so now we can size it up while holding shift and kinda of put it right there. I'm going to refer back to here. It seems like I actually edited something called the tracking. And I also um, I put spaces in here, so I'm going to do that right now. There we go. And um, uh, Whoops, did not mean to do that. Okay, so now I'm going to select once again the Epic Sauce layer. And uh, we're going to highlight all of the text and we're going to change something called tracking. So um, let me figure out which one it is. Okay, so it's AV. It's under auto and beside metrics. We change AV up to whatever we want it to be. It basically makes our text like kind of the spacing slightly different. Now, I'm not sure if I like this style or not because of the outline, but uh, I'm, I'm going to put it back at zero and maybe just stretch the text like, like that.
I don't know, I'll play around with it. You can play around with it too. Now the next thing I'm gonna do here is actually put my face in this. Yeah, so, uh, I've got my face ortho, which I just basically did the same steps, uh, as the, uh, grass blocks, except I use a green screen instead with Blender, like a green background, because at the time I couldn't figure out how to, like, do that. So, uh, to remove this, um, if you did do this, just go to chroma, or key, keying, and then, like, there's key light 1.2. We're just going to drag that to that layer. Uh, this won't be necessary for you, but it is for me. So let's say you've got your face as an ortho block. You've UV edited it. Uh, we're going to actually drag this all the way to the bottom, except remain above the uh, blank layer, which is the white solid. So we're going to do that. I'm going to size it up like that. And we're going to press T with the face ortho layer selected and this will open up opacity which I can then turn down to replicate what I originally did with this video or whoops this video <laughs> alright so uh, this will be the last part of uh, the tutorial so basically all I did was I I put the block into an image editor such as paint.net and I kind of turned the tolerance on the select wand tool down to 17 percent blah 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 uh, nobody understands this because not a lot of people use this program, but all I did essentially is put in it into some sort of image editing program and adjusted the hue on different parts of the block, such as the grass. I made it a lot brighter and it looks a lot better that way. The other things that I did, of course, were add some text. So I had cool video and an awesome video. So I went over here and did the same thing and I resized some things so I changed the format a bit and that's all for part one guys so uh, tune in to part two to uh, finish this off we'll be doing transitions and extra touches